Hello, um, welcome back to another Hurricane Sandy tutorial. Um, the last time we were here, we were looking at, um, what do you say, putting some horses on a billboard using the glow and we were using the corner perspective pin. Today we're going to actually create a little different thing here, right? We're going to be using the this footage here, which is a green screen explosion. Right, what we're going to be doing is cutting out that green screen there, just having an explosion. And we're going to apply it to a 3D render I made. Right, it's a TV going from left to right. So, essentially, what we're going to have, just like we're using perspective corner pin out before, we're going to be having the this time we're going to be using the same billboard video and putting it on this here flat screen TV. <coughs> so, let's begin. The first thing I want to do, I'm going to just erase these for a bit. I'm going to learn a little something here today. And we're going to erase this um, explosion on the green screen. Alright, so first I'm going to create a new composition. I'm just going to leave that there. Alright, so with our composition we're going to import simply our billboard video that we had before. Alright, because this is going to be shown on the TV screen and we're going to import also our Blender TV. Now in 3D you have an option of either rendering as a video and I use Blender here. And Blender is an open source uh, program that deals with 3D games, 3D models, animation. Uh, anything you want to do in 3D you can probably check out that program. I'm not sure if it does every single thing but it's a really great program and it's free. You can get it from blender.org and just play around with it. There's plenty of support from the team of blender.org.com as well as the Blender Guru, Blender Cookie, and there's quite a few. So I made this TV here, and essentially I rendered out all the different frames of the animation. What happens is that, just as we saw a while ago, it plays out the animation, but that animation is actually a series of images. Now, when you have a series of images lined up like this, you can actually import it as footage, right? PNG sequence here. Right, if you didn't have this checked, it would simply import one image, and that's not what we want. We want all the images. So we're going to force alphabetical order, press OK. And what we get here is Blender TV 2, and that's cool because it's, it's there, right? Now, this little thing is a little bit too small, so we're just going to... No, no, Marklin, stop it. <coughs> so we're just going to make it bigger. Seriously, stop it. Um... Cool. Let's see, that looks okay so far. Right, if we just scrubble this, we should get is this thing playing um, out. Okay. That's alright so far. I'm just gonna hide my billboard here and see if it plays out fast. Okay, that's that's pretty cool right there. Alright, now because the billboard footage is a little too short. We're just gonna go here and just like we had before, we're gonna press N for the end point of our um, composition and just right click and trim comp to work area. Now, essentially, what we wanna do is the same corner tracking, corner pin tracking. Right, so we're just gonna click on our Blender TV here and we have our tracker up. Remember, we said before, if you don't have it up, you can always go to window and find whatever it is you're looking for. Uh, where were we? Alright, so we've hidden the uh, billboard and what we're going to do is we'll start tracking our TV here. It looks like it's a little still a little bit too, let me check, small. So we're going to have to scale it up again, a bit some more. Alright, All right, cool. Uh, motion source, and we can track motion on this thing because it's already selected. Alright, so we have our track point one, and just like before, we're gonna use the perspective corner pin and simply just drag our points. You can always press the tilde, just drag your points to the edge. Right, this one might get a little tricky because it's moving, so tracking all four points may have problems eventually, especially because the pattern area is going to change because of the different um, shades and such. But Essentially, we should be able to get what we want in a relatively easy fashion. Right, so that there is set. And what we can do now, before we said we wouldn't use analyze because 
it wasn't moving but this time the area that we're analyzing is going to be moving from one place to another place so what we're going to do is analyze forward now what you'll notice is that it, it's going good so far i'm just playing across just to make sure i don't have too much errors or any problems you can continue analyzing just to be sure and it looks like we start having problems here right i'm just going to go into that particular one right click on it um zoom in carry it back let's just check out our previous frame by holding control and left clicking that frame looks like it was going out of whack as well and we can just check again and just check again see it it can essentially the tracking is is effective in terms of you not doing this frame by frame but when it comes to fixing it up it can be a little tedious especially if you don't track it or get the, the problem sorted out from early now we could continue doing it this way right but i just want to go as far as where it stops giving so much problems on the tv screen itself right and when i have that all set up properly i'm going to do this um hold on still just a bit right cool that looks like it's okay for the most part right um just a little bit more i kind of want to look really good for you guys so give me a sec here right that 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 can work going back forward uh looking out it looks okay so far you no know, other points are giving problems right so we see it's going through right there um what i'm gonna do <coughs> i'm gonna keep tracking I'm not going to track forward anymore. What I'm going to go to the end. And at the end, I'm going to go back in here. Uh, zoom in. Check you. Carry you in about there. Move this. Track point three as well. Here. Move you. Track point number two. Over here. And I'm going to come over here. And move this over here right now you see we were tracking analyzing forward at first what I'm gonna attempt to do is analyze backwards and I can analyze by frame right and go backwards and see if things are okay I'm just gonna go backwards here it looks like it's going great actually right just wanted to meet up to that point there hopefully without any problems it looks okay so far it looks great so far it's not doing anything stupid not yet spoke too soon here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go back i'm, I'm kind of lazy I'm gonna go here and i'm gonna analyze forward by one frame and when i see some problems occurring I'm just gonna fix up those problems right there right and choose to analyze forward again now up here is having problems as well so i'm going to move you back down here right just checking backwards and seeing if everything's okay right that's fine that's fine not fine right i'm guessing if you guys can hear my machine it's going all weird I'm gonna analyze by frame again and it looks okay it looks okay so far looks okay again well, except for up here mm -hmm. right so that there looks relatively good Right, so that looks like it's been tracked pretty much the whole way through. Just checking forward by one frame. Just checking by one frame. It's better it's outside the TV, inside the TV position. So that looks great so far. Let's see what we have here. Right, that's going there to there to there to there to there 
and it looks great well, we just need to edit our target and our target is going to be billboard layer right now that layer is invisible and actually below so press ok move the billboard layer up here and turn it on what should happen <laughs> we haven't even applied it yet sorry apply and it should stick everything up properly now look at that it's actually playing the same video we did before we go into the composition here yeah. it's playing the same video now you notice that all the keyframes are done for you by default if you've ever used a puppet tool the puppet pin tool has a similar feature when you're recording it kind of tracks the the parts of the puppet that you're moving just like with tracking here so if we look here this video doesn't look too bad at all actually except for about there but that's okay for the purpose of this video I think you got the essential base of what exactly we're trying to do you can probably just add a glow just to kind of make it look more good more good <laughs> drop it on the billboard layer and like before I'm not gonna put it the glow hmm. alpha channel uh, hmm. radius Bigger, put it on the corner pin, and one more thing needs to be done. I'm going to set it to be horizontal only, or rather vertical this time. Yeah, that should work. Alright, good. So the TV is set. One more thing needs to happen to this TV though, it needs to blow up. So here we are having it playing and then the last thing we're going to do, I um, kind of downloaded this um, <coughs> explosion on a green screen of YouTube somewhere. I'm probably going to put the link in later to which video exactly. Uh, but we can drop this here and it kind of gives you that green screen footage here blowing up something. Right? Um, what we want to do is kind of key out that black, that green screen. That way you only have the whatever is not well whatever is not green in there. So there's an effect you can always hit keying uh, one called key light 1.2. It's really simple. You can hit screen color and well you could always hit the screen color and choose a color you want, but you can always just hit this um ink dropper tool, choose the green area and it kind of just keys out all of that for you. Now what we want to do, it kinda explodes too soon and in the wrong place. So what I want to do is have the TV start burning about that part there. So on top of this, right, it's still too small, so I'm going to make it bigger. No MC, no. So boom. That works well for me, relatively. Right, so... What's going to happen when it plays out, it should do something like this. Let me just RAM preview it and show you guys. Alright guys, uh, it looks sort of like this. When it plays and then BOOM! TV explodes. And essentially, that's the end of our tutorial. Right? So you can see two different, actually, quite a bit of elements coming in. The horses are actually still running in that billboard right there displaying on TV as well as our explosion comes in right about here blowing up the TV right so I'm um, glad you enjoyed this tutorial I'm gonna just save this um, take care of yourself right and be safe right so God bless take care